Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they play out live. Real quick, what do I mean by live in case you're new to these videos? What I mean is that this is not a situation where I've already recorded everything and now I'm coming back and doing a voiceover or some sort of trade recap or post commentary. Nothing like that. I'm recording myself, seeing the information for the very first time. So if you want raw thoughts, raw reactions, raw emotions, you will get that here. But to be respectful of your time, if you are out there looking for a nicely edited video, nicely scripted video, you're not gonna get that here. But if you just want a nitty gritty look into what it's like to be a day trader, how day trading can play out, then you're gonna see that here. Now, maybe you're noticing that my screen looks a little different here. In fact, I, I suppose I could move this over here a little bit. Yeah, there we go. And let's move this over here a little bit. There we go. Uh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some options trading today. Could be a train wreck. Maybe it'll work out very nicely. Uh, but I've had many, and I've, I've traded options before, so it's not like I'm just randomly just doing this. But it's, it's been a while. Might be a little rusty. Um, and I've had many comments and those comments aren't wrong. Yeah, Clay, but what about people with smaller accounts? And that, that's okay, that's fine. And for those people with smaller accounts, options you know, are a, a viable solution too. And options, I mean, they're, they're a great asset class out there. You gotta be careful with them. You have to know what you're doing uh, because they, uh, can, they will gladly eat your lunch if you let them. Uh, but that is why, for those of you that are longtime viewers, if you're saying, wait, what, is it, what am I looking at? This is not your normal screen. That's because I actually have my options trading uh, layout mapped out here. And um, I think we're all set. I'm still checking things over with the, the actual recording software to make sure I'm recording everything that I am. But it looks like we're all set to go. So market opens up here in less than four minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and pause and I'll see you back at the open. And I will be watching Tesla out of the opening gate. <laughs> well, I've already had, <laughs> um, I would have had a nice trade, but I went to, to buy some calls on this pullback here. And then an order window popped up saying, are you sure you want to do this? And I'm thinking, what in the world? This doesn't happen with my stocks. So I've just been, it's 9.32, so I've been fooling around the past couple of minutes trying to figure out how do I turn off the order confirmation. But now you'll see that, for example, if I try to buy, so look down here at my orders, to get that to show up, it'll just automatically show up when I click buy. So now no more order confirmation windows, which if you're looking to scalp and day trade, that, that little extra step can actually be, uh, uh, you know, can be a problem. Uh, but got that taken care of. And uh, like I said, uh, but just like working the cobwebs out here a little bit. But 681, do I think the price can get above 681? Would have been much better had Tesla gap down, but. Let's look around here or you can't see what I'm looking, I'm just looking to see where the, the good volume's at. So it's really a question of, let me get that alerted actually. There we go. There we go. So let's. So looking to pick up five contracts at 525. So want to see this pull back some more. Now I'd like more than five contracts. I'd, I'd, I'd like to try to build a, a bigger position here, but that would at least allow me to get you know, allow me to dip my toe into the trade. But that's really all gonna be dependent on can this pull back a bit more. As of now, just kinda sitting around here, not doing a whole lot. Nice, okay, and? Looking like I'll be able to pick up some more down here at 450. So 
So just waiting to see what it wants to do here. And I'm in at 525. Getting a bit of a bounce here. All right, I'm gonna, let's see. See what it wants to do here. At this point, I think it might wanna just roll back over. All right, out there for a $200 loss. Welcome to, welcome to options trading, Clay. I am though interested now for some puts, because like I said, I think this thing wants to roll over, which is why I was getting into the first place. So watching 575 very closely. Well, not bounce back up, so maybe I would have been okay with those calls, but that's all hindsight. Again, watching 676. Okay, in here at four, or at 1565, oh shoot, I never, all right, I gotta get used to that. Whenever I change the, stri the strikes, it ch defaults back to quantity. So unfortunately, I only have one. And I'm in at fifteen sixty five. It's working out very well. Shoot, wish I would have had five then. But you're experiencing shaking the cobwebs off here a little bit. All right, there we go. So put myself together a nice trade there and I should be, shoot. Because if I had five contracts, that would have been $85 times five. So I would have actually wiped away that loss there, but totally forgot. And now you can see that the value is up over, yeah, so I mean, hindsight could have gotten more for it, but I wonder if I can change, I'll have, to, I'll have to work on the defaults there in terms of, uh, uh, so I don't have to constantly go back and change that quantity because I would like to have been at five and that's what I thought it was. Uh, but on that note, I'm very glad that I cut the loss where I did because those calls had they come back down, that would have been a, a, a bad situation. I'm gonna go ahead and pause. All right, I have an order at 11.75 for a put. So I'm thinking that this thing is gonna eventually wanna roll back over, but looking to, like I said, build a bigger position here. 
just one contract, that's by design, because then knowing that I wanna scale in. Like I said, let's see if this thing wants to, uh, Okay, getting close to potentially filling me at 1175. All right, I'm gonna go down to 1150 at this point. Okay, got those. Look to pick up another one at 1050. Actually, I think I can get better than that. 1025. I'll try one out there at 975 also. So I got those. Can I get that one at nine? So, okay, go there. We have three contracts now, 1050 price average. So, have sell orders out at 1075 and 1095. It's getting close. Okay, got those out at 75. Love that candle, love that candle. Absolutely love that candle that's formed. If it breaks down, should get filled for my next contract. But Tesla's being stubborn up there. He said, I want to see Tesla, the share price break down through 682. But now it's starting to turn back around. Said I still think it wants to come back down. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is Well, it's already coming back down. Maybe in hindsight, I should have just gotten a little bit, not wanted so much, but like I said, I still, still like the chance here. Especially now that it's pulling back like it is. Can this finally be the move that gets it up over? Okay, in 1095, there we go, excellent. Let's see if we can get some more follow through here. 
Whoops. All right, all out there for $90 on that trade, right? Yeah, $90. And I was hoping to buy another, hoping to buy another 10. Or I was hoping to buy another contract at 10. Wow, my, even the way I'm talking, I got to retrain my brain for this. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, like I said, just shaking off the cobwebs here. Um, and I, I, I've done this before. You can go through the live trade videos and you'll see options trading. But I mean, these things are, you know, uh, look at that. Yeah, now, now it's up well over 11. Uh, but those videos are from years ago. So, I mean, there, there's, I have no shame at all in saying, yeah, there's going to be a bit of a, of a learning curve here. Yeah, see what, that candle right there was, was great. And then that one kind of was like, all right, well, what's going on? And then that right there, when I was thinking about buying some more uh, puts, which would have been a good thing, um, I wasn't able to. But I'll have to go back. I, I, I thought I would have gotten a little bit more than $90 on that trade. But um, yeah, it is what it is. So let's see what else is out there. Have an order here to pick up 500 shares long at 95.35. Actually, do I want to go to, yeah, let's do this. Look, noticing something on another time frame. 95.15. There we go. Nice. Big move to the downside. Now, I'm willing to get more than 500 shares. But boom, just like that, quick $75 in my pocket. But I'm going to keep watching this one. Let's see, where is that next? And I'm glad I know what I noticed was just on the five minute time frame. Keep in mind, I am looking at multiple time frames here. What is that? It is 94. So yeah, right at 94. Next first entry point. And I say first entry point, just double checking things. Yeah, 94. Uh, I say that because, wow, look at this thing coming down. Actually, let's just do 93.75 at this point. Oh, that was a, that was a move I was looking for and it paused. And I, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I am back to stocks right now. Goodness. What is that low? Yeah, 9275. I do like that. So 9275 here. See if it wants to make that move down there. All right, well, I, I, actually I'm back in the green now, 50 bucks. So there we go, that's good. Got some learning, got some, I don't wanna say learning, but got some cobwebs shaking, shooken off, shaking, shooken. So I, I like to get paid to learn, paid to get sh cobwebs shaken off. All right, well, that has already went down there once. So at this point, I will go at 91.75 if it wants to get down there. Uh, but this may be some sort of bottoming that's forming here. But I'm going to go ahead and pause for now. And the bloodshed just continues. Clay, why don't you just short when you first saw it? I'm asking myself the same thing. Unfortunately, these are live and it's always a little bit, right? It, it's easy when you have to look to the right, meaning, okay, well, what's happening next? That's why trading's hard. It's easy to look to the left. Looking to the left, oh man, I, I'm so rich looking to the left. But looking to the right, woohoo, much bigger much different game. I do have an order at 89.15. What I'm looking for here is a break down below 90 and then a very, very fast move down. Maybe I'm being too greedy thinking I, it can drop all the way down to that area, but um, that's just what I feel comfortable with. That's what I would require for this strategy. Again, which one that would, wait, I'm not even in at 89.15 or I didn't put an order out there. There we go. 
But like I said, for this strategy, that is just what I would feel uh, deem necessary to, to get my first entry point, which seems maybe kind of crazy, but that's that's the idea behind things. And BA is also just not having a good day either. Let's pull up that real quick. Me and BA, we used to be real good friends. Used to trade it almost all the time, but uh, it just changed on me. Got a new personality, had to break up with it. And maybe this is, now the question does, do I wanna try to find a short here? A dead cat bounce and then look for it to roll back over. So I will keep a close eye on it for again, some sort of potential, such as 91.50 here. Let's see if this thing wants to get up a little, little bit more. So 91.50 now has some potential as an area to get short. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that. But as of now, this thing just what is that right there? 90. Yeah, just let this one play out here a little bit more. 91.50. In at 91.50. Beautiful, beautiful candle. Still have 100 shares left. That bounce has got me a little, eh. Not sure if it actually wants to go in my favor or not at this point. It got the move in my favor, and now you can see the, hand, or the, the, the candle that's forming here, which I am not a fan of. But good. See if we can get some more movement to the downside. Nice. 90.50, can that break? Glad I hung on on these 500, or the, the last. So still 50 shares left. There we go, got the 90.50. Still have 25 left. See if we can get, oh, nice. Shoot. In hindsight, man, Clay, you should have kept on more. Yeah, I, I really should have. That could be a very well fake break down there. See what it wants to do. Can I get 89? Is this thing really gonna break 89? Oh my goodness. Wow. All right, I'll take it. Uh, so what was that, about $150 on that trade? And the thing is, I uh, I didn't do anything wrong because at that time, it, it was looking like uh, that thing didn't wanna necessarily roll back over. But the one thing I definitely did do right was I held on to that 100 shares, which became very valuable. Um, but yeah, again, <laughs> once again, along the theme, Looking to the left, yes, I should have held on to all 500 shares. But at that time, when I was looking to the right, it, it really did look like you know, it, it might have been getting ready to, to have a faulty breakdown and turn back around. So I wanted to, to manage my risk, reduce my risk by reducing my position size, but not totally taking myself out of the trade. And then as you saw, uh, it, it did end up going in my favor. But um, I still had the 100 shares to partake in that. So good, um, I'll take it. And up $183, which I mean, honestly feels like might as well be $1,000 because this morning has been bizarre uh, because options, like I said, that was just such a, a, a different situation at that point in time. Is this thing really going to keep going down? What is, there must be news. What's the news? Let's see. Update, Consumer Product Commission gave warning of recall. Now confirming recall. Okay, so they're putting out bogus products or something. And one child, okay, well. 
just to, to give an issue of kind of, or an, look at the five minute on this thing. Goodness. Uh, but yeah, at this point, I'm no, I'm no longer looking to uh, go short. If anything, if it wants to keep getting beat down, um, I will look to potentially build a long sided position, um, anticipating not any sort of reversal, but just any sort of even little bounce. Uh, you know, those micro scalps can be uh, very, very profitable and add up very quickly. Um, but I'll go ahead and pause for now. All right, step one here, I wanna see Piton get up over 91.80. Assuming that occurs, step two, looking to get short at 91.40. But step one, got, it's gotta get up above 91.80. And not looking like it's gonna behave, nope. Bummer. All right, well, never mind as far as that setup's concerned. Yeah, bummer. All right, never mind. All right, step one, wanna see this above 39.10. Step two would be interested in shorting at 39. But it's gotta get above 39.10 first. Gotta have people think that it's a breakout. And I'm gonna go ahead and pause, but just wanna at least get my thought process out there right now uh, before anything actually happened. But I'll pause for the time being. And nothing. So... Totally pulled back like I thought it would, but I just want to see it show me a little bit of strength first, and then that's the move I was looking for. But um, so I was right, but didn't make any money from it because I didn't quite get it right enough. So remember, just making broad statements. I think it's going to go down. Okay, but I mean, you got to still be able to take that and make it applicable and practical in a in a in a real world setting. Which, like I said, I was right that it was going to go down, but totally wrong in the way to have approached to make money from it. But it is what it is. Well, it has been a couple hours since the last time I've even been looking here. I uh, forgot about this to end the recording. And then um, if you're not familiar, if you look at other videos on my channel, there's somewhere I'm in front of a, a board and it's in-person videos. Uh, so the, the person I work with came over and we, re, uh, we recorded some of those. So point here being, it, it's been a while uh, and I had just forgotten to um, map things out or end things here. But overall, I'm, I'm gonna wrap things up and a bizarre day for me. Uh, like I said, just kind of starting to rewire my brain here a little bit. Um, and in the comment section, as I wrap it up, would you like for me to continue to trade options? If you do want me to continue to trade options, just give me a comment of options. That's all you have to say. Uh, so on that note, like I said, that's the first uh, request. And then the next request is if you just enjoy these live trade videos in general, because they are truly live, meaning I am uh, you know, literally doing this all at the same time. So I have to think for myself. I have to think about what I'm gonna say to you. I have to trade for myself. I have to make alerts in the chat room. So I have a lot going on. So while these videos are not impossible, they do take a, a lot of effort and I, I will continue to make them as long as I know that there's interest. So if there is interest, then on that note, a quick, easy way to communicate that to me, hit the like button, leave a basic comment, even if it's a thumbs up emoji. So those two things communicate to me, hey Clay, yeah, please keep doing these videos because I enjoy them. And as long as I know there's enjoyment out there, then like I said, I have no problem doing them at all. And then like I said, if again, if you would like for me to continue to trade some more options, uh, then you know, put options in the comment section uh, down below and that'll communicate to me that you enjoyed this option trading. Yeah, it was a little bit fuzzy, but like I said, <laughs> literally my first time in a long time trading options today. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed, hopefully you learned something. And like I said, hit that like button, leave a comment down below. Thanks for hanging out. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.